What's up, everybody? It's the Chinese Drama Attic, and I'm back at you with another review. Today, I'm going to be reviewing uh, the Chinese drama God of Lost Fantasy with Peter Xing and Olivia Wang. Um, all I have to say about God of Fantasy right now is, is that it's very slow moving. The script is shitty. Um, I am disappointed for Peter and Olivia because they were amazing actors in this and they just had a crappy script. Um, this story is basically about a, a adoptive child in, inside of a general's family that has all kind of conspirators going con, con, conspirators going against the general's family from demons and also you know hating ass people that are inside the kingdom okay this guy is a sweet guy who helps one of the family's daughters you know pass her tests and things like that and he likes her, she likes him, but her family is basically trying to move up in the court area and they want to treat his family like crap to get there. And she ends up breaking off their engagement with each other because of the excuse that he has a blind pulse or whatever. And basically ends up regretting this shit because later on, um, Peter runs into Olivia in this particular drama and they hit it off and it's great. Okay. Peter is, because he does have a blind pulse, he, uh, falls down into this hole and he ends up meeting, uh, some strange teacher who basically gives him this soul star that he has, which actually cures him of the situation of the blind pulse. He can learn martial arts. He's really good at it. And all of that. And the story takes off, take, goes on with him being inside the school and having adventures. Then in another part of the story, you have the crown prince who's got an issue at his house. And it is, he's got uncles, a uh, uncle that's a regent, uh, imp, you know, king. And he's basically trying to take over things because this particular crown prince's father is sick and not responding. He's in a coma. And Pretty much of a situation is like that the crown prince would take the place of the father as regent. But unfortunately, that's not the case. The uncle has stepped up and him and his son call themselves or I'm not sure if that's his son or not. But if it's his nephew or whatever, they call themselves taking over some shit. They're totally corrupt. And it's just it's just really fucked up. This whole entire script is shitty. I am so mad. I mean, some of these actors are amazing. After, be, after Peter being an Oh My General, I was looking so looking forward to this drama because I hadn't seen him at all in any dramas. And I was like, yes, we get to see this fine ass boy do his thing. Unfortunately, this was not the, this was not the script for him at all. The martial arts in this sucked, absolutely sucked. And for me to be a Chinese drama addict, I done seen some over the top and really shitty martial arts but this one is the shittiest that i've seen um they had some scenes that were okay but the ones with peter in them were not strong at all to me so this particular drama i cannot stick through because i found my mind wandering you know what i'm saying and at the same time i did want to see what happened with the crown prince he seems like a very strong actor and I wanted to see what was going to happen with him. The only thing I had an issue with with this particular crown prince in this story was is the way he stood. He stood like he was a straight game banger from Chicago, folks, GD. I'm like, what is that? I've never seen any, any crown prince in my life. So, and you know what I'm saying? In my time of watching Chinese dramas, stand like a game banger in a, in a damn drama, y'all. And he stood like a, a game bang. And I was like, usually, you know, crown princes are very elegant. You know, the etiquette is there. They got one arm behind their back or both arms. They, you know, I, I just didn't get this crown prince, even though his story seemed to be very interesting. I'll be completely honest. It did seem like he was going to be a very interesting character. But unfortunately, this script is just so drawn out. It's, I'm on episode 34. And if you are on episode 34 still waiting for a fucking drama to take off, that drama is garbage, okay? And this is coming from somebody who watches a lot 
of dramas. I don't even watch regular TV. And if I tell you, if you're on episode 34 and it, ain't, and it hasn't kicked off yet, it ain't going to kick off for this drama. So unfortunately, my, con- you know, my sympathy is to Olivia Wang and Mr. Peter. I'm so sorry y'all got a fucked up script. But hopefully you guys will get a better script next time. But Gods of Fantasy was a total, I, I'm sorry, I have never given this kind of rating for a drama, but I'd have to say it is a five, okay? And, and I'm being very generous with the five, all right? So if you're watching Gods of Fantasy, uh, let me know what you think inside the comments. And if you have the same feeling that I did with this, I'm not sticking through this drama at all it's not it's not binge worthy at all i was looking forward to seeing what the story came up with i love the chemistry between peter and olivia unfortunately it's just not working the script is not working for me so if you don't mind thumbs up this video if you like it let me know what you think inside the comments and if you want to join me and the other maymays on this channel and you want to talk to me back and forth about your thoughts about Chinese dramas, catch us on Wednesday on Discord in the invite inside of the uh, description box and become a part of the Empress Circle. And you know what I'm saying? The guys are invited too. We want to hear what you have to say about some of these dramas. So until next time, it's your girl, the Chinese drama, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.